how to create interactive chart in Excel using two target points, a maximum one and a minimum one. And we can also change those values using these interactive buttons. So let's say I want to increase the maximum value to $6,000. I can do so just clicking the buttons. And I can also set another minimum value using the buttons that I have for the minimum value for this target in specific. And as you can see in the chart, whenever I set another value, the chart is automatically updated for me. I'm using basically a simple data set with informations such as the month or a category. And the second information, some values. But you can also use percentage or currency like I'm using here fractions and on and on. So basically it's a very simple chart to create in Excel, but it's also very useful and powerful. And let's find out how can we create this interactive chart in Excel with two target points, the maximum one and the minimum one, step by step from scratch. Let's go. The first thing that we need to have in Excel in order to create any type of chart is a data set. And as I said before, my data set is basically very simple. It's just a sample with a category where I'm using the months. And as the second column that I have, I have some values. Uh, basically, I need to select everything and then insert. I want to select the chart that I want to use. I can use either a line chart, an area chart, or a column chart. I'm going to use the column chart because it's a very common chart in Excel. So we're going to stick with this option. I want you to click in the chart and move it up a little bit like this. Okay. Before we make the change within the chart, let's create here the minimum and maximum thresholds, let's say. And uh, as I have some values, as you can see here, the categories is in the top part of my chart. And the way you can see the corresponding column for each one of the categories. And also here to the left, I have the values that indicates to me the corresponding value for each one of the columns. But let's say I have here a goal. I have here a target. And my maximum target is the target that I need to hit. And my target maybe is $6,000. This is my target point or this is my goal. And I also, this is the maximum one, okay? And I also have a minimum point that is can be, let's say, $3,000. But instead of manually input lines in Excel or you are doing a presentation, a report, a dashboard in Excel, I want to actually input the lines within the chart in Excel. And I also want to be able to set the values of those lines. And to do it, we're going to need to use some helper columns. Or in other words, I mean, I'm going to take here a blank column in Excel and I want to fill this column with my target. Let's start with the maximum one. So let's say my maximum target is going to be $6,000. Enter. Of course, we can change it later. Let me click in the cell in the bottom right corner, hold and drag it down to make sure we can have the same value for all the rows that we have. Now in the next column, I'm going to do something similar, but uh, in an opposite way. Now we're going to have the minimum value. That can be $3,000. Enter. And again, in the bottom right corner of the cell, click hold and drag it out to make sure we can open this cell down like this. Okay. Now we can move on to the second step or the third step that is how can we automatically change those values using the buttons in Excel? The buttons in Excel, we can find it within the developer tab. If you ain't got the developer tab in your Excel, don't worry because you can go to the home tab and within any blank space, you can right click and then go to customize the ribbon. Here, you're going to have many different options. And now you can start with changing the popular commands and go to main tabs. Here you can see the developer tab. You can click and then add and then OK. This is how we can enable the developer tab in Excel. Now we can go to insert within the controls tab. And I'm going to have this option right here, the spin button. Click and that's it. Now let's say I want to set this button, maybe right here in a space that I have. And whenever I click up, I want you those values right here increase and whenever i click down i also want to change those values but this time to decrease the values let me right click in this button right here and then i can go to format control within this new window that's going to appear for me i can start with let's say current value yeah i can start with zero and minimal value it can also be zero and let's say the maximum value i have in here thirty thousand as the value and this is the, actually the maximum that we can use here within this button in excel and the incremental change i want to change 50 by 50, let's say. So uh, instead of using one, I'm going to use 50. And the cell link, I'm going to click in this upper arrow. And I want to set this cell right here. And then down arrow. And then OK. As you can see now, every time I click up, I can increase the value up uh, 50 by 50. Every time I click down, I can de decrease the value in the same proportion. So let's stick with, here with, uh, let's go make it faster, 5,000. And then this here is going to be my maximum value. But how can I apply the same value to the helper column that we have? We can simply use an equal sign. So instead of 
manually input the values right here in the first cell that I have equals sign. And then I can select this cell where I have the $5,000. If I press enter, as you can see, I have the same value in this cell as I have in the cell to the right. Now to the cells underneath, I can again use the equal sign, but this time select the cell above and then enter. And I can copy this formula down in the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag down like this. Now, whenever I change this value right here, so let's say 5,500, as you can see here, everything is gonna follow along this value. Now, how can I apply these values right here and transform into a line in the chart? I can simply select everything and then Control C to cope and then click within the chart or in the blank space of the chart in the area and then Control V to cope and paste. As you can see here, instead of having a line in it, a line here within the chart, I'm having a column. I want to transform the column into a chart, but let's do it later because let's first set the second column that we have, the sec second helper column. And to do the second helper column, I want to have something similar, but this time to the minimum value. Uh, and now I want to create another button, a spin button. But we can actually click, uh, copy and paste because that way we can save time. Right click in this button and then cope and then in any cell, right click and then paste like this. But the problem is, if I change this button underneath here, as you can see, it's changed the maximum value, not the minimum one. So we can need to set again the cell link. Right click and then format control. Cell link now is going to be clicking the upper arrow, this cell right here underneath the minimum value. Then OK. Yeah. Now, anytime that we click down or up, we can change this value. Let's change the number format to a currency one. So we can go to the home tab and use currents. Yeah, that's it. I also want to select the minimal and a line in the center and uh, in the middle of the cell. I can also select both of those values, put everything in bold, and change the first color, the text font color, to a green one and the second one to a red one. Now we have two different thresholds, a maximum one and a minimum one. Let's go and set the minimum one to change also the helper column. Equal sign and then select this value, enter, and the cell underneath it, equal sign, select the cell above, enter, click, hold, and drag down. Now select everything again, Control c to cope, click in the chart, Control v to paste. Now we have the columns, the blue ones that are is represented the values that we have, or the year one, let's say. We also have the orange columns that are, represents the, tra the maximum threshold and the gray one that are, represents the minimum threshold. Now it's time to make some change. Let's right click in the chart and then I can go to change chart type. I want to select combo. And within this option, I want to set the series two into a line and also the series three into a line. The year one that is the value that I'm using, I want to stick with columns. I want to click OK. And yeah, basically that's it. Now we have the maximum threshold and the minimum one. And we can also change the colors and the design of the chart to make it more pleasant to look at, let's say. Uh, let me right click in the column and then I can go to format that series. Within these options, I want to change the gap width. Maybe I can lower this value right here, decrease the value, just to make the columns a little thicker, as you can see here. And I can also go to effects and select shadow and stick with the first option just to make it a little bit different. I can go now to the fill line, select fill, and change the color of the, the bar to a dark gray. Now it's time to select the, the lines. Let's start with the orange one or with the maximum one. And as the maximum, I want to use a green color. Let me select the green. And as the width, I want to use four and a half or four, okay. Now the gray one that is the minimum value, the minimum threshold, I want to use four again, but this time a red color. Now I can close everything. Maybe I can increase the size of the chart like this, and we're done. So this is how we can create an interactive chart in Excel with a maximum threshold and also a minimum one, and I make it dynamic. So whenever we click in the interactive buttons, we can see that the line is gonna move it down, or we can also move the line up using the maximum threshold. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how can we create an interactive chart in Excel with two threshold points, the maximum one and the minimum one. And do not forget, if you want to hide the helper columns that you did, you can just take the chart and put it above the cells like this and yeah that's it now we can use this chart into a presentation or into a report a dashboard in excel and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos of course let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow because every day has a new video